Welcome to the 2023 Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the University of Indianapolis. I'm Matt Donovan, Senior Associate Athletic Director for Development, and I'm pleased to serve as the Master of Ceremonies this evening. Our next inductee is Tony Starks. Tony, Tony is a 1980 graduate of the University of Indianapolis. He was a four-time letter winner for the wrestling team. While at UND, Tony was the first NCAA Division II All-American in 1980, the first Mid-Eastern Super Regional Champion, a two-time Heartland Conference Champion in 1977 and 80, and qualified for the NCAA Tournament in 1977 and 80. During his season, senior season, he set then UND records for career and single season victories, was voted team captain, named MVP, and led the team in pins on that season. Since graduation before retiring, Tony was a grad assistant coach for UND, the head wrestling coach at Ben Davis in Mount Vernon High Schools, and was a high school teacher for 33 years. Through coaching, he was awarded the IHSWCA Assistant Coach of the Year in 93 and the UND Alumni Coach of the Year in 94. While teaching, he was presented the Olin Davis Award for Indiana High School Economics Educators. Congratulations to Tony Starks at 2023 University of Indianapolis Hall of Fame. Thank you. Tony. Let me first start off by thank, saying thank you to uh, the committee and to you, Indy. Uh, but I got a simple thank yous that I did for it. First off, my family. Uh, it's unbelievable the support that I get from them, and this is great we get to celebrate together like this. Uh, I had four or six kids come in from out of state for this. That's very special to me. Uh, my two older brothers are here. They are the guys that kick my butt all the time, of course. They would say, that's just make you tougher, Tony. I don't know if it worked or not, but uh, I appreciate it. Uh, my good friend Joe Virgin is here. Joe is a former UND grad, real, really Indian Central. Uh, he's a former head coach at Ben Davis High School. He was my mentor for teaching and coaching. We had some great teams and some great times together. I have to give thanks to Terry Weatherall. He was my coach on and off the mat. And I'll tell you, he was the kind of guy that was there for me. He kept me on track in school. He got me patched up so I could compete. He's the guy that took me to the Nationals, even though he had been advised not to because of uh, the nurse said it wasn't capable. But uh, he got me there and let me get that one last chance at it. And so I thank him for that. And he was the kind of guy, he was my best cheerleader, you might say, too. Because I come back, I'm a little disappointed in myself. He's out telling everybody. I couldn't believe it. I had administrators, teachers, coaches. I even had notes from the mayor congratulating me on my accomplishments. And I thought that was really wonderful. But that was because of that man, Terry Weatherall. So I thank him for that. And let me kind of finish up with the school. You gave me a great opportunity. You took a chance on a below average student athlete and gave me a chance to see another world, to see something that I could become. And you helped me develop into a better version of me. And I thank you very much for that. And I have to finish with this for my kids. I am Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs>